All right, guys, so I have a quick solution for you. Uh, let's say you already skinned your model and you already finished with your bone setup, right? So let's say you made a mistake on the joint orientation, but you already painted all of your weights on it. So, you know, everything is working perfectly. You spent a couple of hours or maybe even days getting the skin weights to work perfectly. Uh, so I'm going to show you how you can save your skin weights and then remove them so that you can go back and adjust your say for example your joint orientation and then you can import your skin weights again and have it back to be the normal way that you originally painted them alright so it's just a very quick uh, how to export skin weights and re-import them alright so first things first I already have this arm that is skinned now I did it fairly quickly but I like the way it came out it's not too bad so everything moves with the rig okay now let's say for example that I messed up the joint orientation for the elbow so in order to fix that you have to detach the skin so let me unreference that you have to detach the skin from the joint so you know when you do skin smooth bind you have to now detach that skin in order to fix your joints but First, we need to save them out. So select your mesh, go to skin, and then down here, you're going to see it says export skin weights and import. These are the only two that you need to worry about. So right now we're going to remove them or save them out. So we need to do an export skin weight maps. Now I created an empty folder on my desktop called skin weights. So if I open this, notice there's nothing in there. So I'm going to call this something like arm weights. All right, and I'm just going to click save. Very easy, very straightforward. Now it's telling me that it's going to save nine skin maps. I'm just going to say yes. And nine skin maps is kind of like a an alpha channel of, you know, how we painted this to be black and white. Like when you paint your skin weights, you know, zero is you know black and influence of 100 percent is white so if i open my folder that has the skin weights now we see two files in here this one that has everything on there that's the only one we're worried about and the arm weights this is where it's saved out each like alpha uh, values of our skin weight so if you open one of these up you're going to see just black and white alphas of where that skin weights are. So again, we're not worried about this. We're just worried about the main one, arm weights, which is also weight maps. All right, so I'm just going to close that out. Now we can detach it. Now we just exported them out. They're saved out. Now we need to detach it so that we can work on this. So we're just going to go to skin, detach skin. Very simple. Now when I move my rig, the arm does not follow with it okay because we detached the skin now very easily you would go in there and then you can adjust your orientation on the joints all right so I'm not gonna do that if you guys need to you know go ahead and fix that that's where you would do it so you can go ahead and mess with your rig with your joints any type of connection you might have missed that needs to be fixed with the joints. You can remove joints now. You can add joints, but obviously if you're gonna add or remove, uh, you're gonna have to go back and add influence to those new joints, all right? Because that might screw up a little bit with what you have. Now it's not gonna mess with the entire model, just that area where you added or removed joints. So you're gonna have to go back and fix that. So now, let's say we already fixed our joints, right? Now I wanna bind it again. So very easily you go to your window outliner just like how you bind your model you select the the root joint of the hierarchy and then the mesh. So here is my root joint of the arm and this is an FKIK lesson so I did the arm separate for those of you who are already following that tutorial. Uh, the, the hand right here is separate so I have my arm here and then down here is my arm so I need to select both of these joint hierarchies and then my arm mesh and then I'm just gonna bind it so I'm gonna do a smooth bind with default so I'm just gonna click on it 
and now when I rotate this I have not painted weights on it so you can see the default does not work the way we want it to so I need to go ahead and import the the skin weights that we exported so again I'm going to select the arm hierarchy the wrist or the the hand joint hierarchy and then my arm and then I'm just simply going to say import skin weights go to that skin weights folder and then all you have to do is open this one the main one and say open and then that should work just fine now so now if I select my elbow notice how everything is now back to normal everything follows you can see the there's no weird uh, things going on here so I can move everything the way that we had it before so and I can switch to IK and also this one will work just fine just the way we had it before so hopefully now you know how to save your your skin weights all right so usually that was a problem uh, some of you don't know that you know once you detach it you're gonna lose all of that work and you don't want to just smooth bind it again and then have to do all of the skin weights all over again you don't have to do that you can save them out fix it you know detach it first fix it and then bring back all of your skin weights all right so if you guys want to know how to do these this uh, FKIK switching that I have here you guys can visit my animation methods website so we have that lesson available for you right here all right so it's only available on my website uh, so check that out if you're interested if not hopefully this tip will help you guys out a lot all right import export skin weights